school. We've all probably gone there once or twice in our lifetime. And you know what we get from school? Oh, 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 I know. Um, valuable stuff that we can use in the real world. What? No. That's what the internet's for, you dumb idiot. What you actually get from school? Our stories. Dumb. Stupid. Stories. I'm going to tell some today. So get your nearest bottle of alcohol, throw it away because drugs are bad, and relax. Because we might be here for a little while. So one day in kindergarten, I was coloring some random thing. And after a while of coloring it, the crayon was starting to get a bit too close to the paper that they wrap around the crayon for absolutely no reason. And since I didn't have a sharpener, I had to use my little kid critical thinking skills. If I break the crayon in half, I might be able to slide the paper off. But no, that'd be breaking school property. Maybe I could use the back, but that wouldn't last too long. Oh, I know. I'll rip the paper off. So I start doing my thing, ripping the paper off of the crayon. And since there wasn't a trash can around, I just decided to throw away the pieces of paper on the floor. Why didn't you just get up and throw your trash in the trash can like a normal kid would? My critical thinking skills are just on a higher level. You wouldn't understand. Plus, it's my story, and you don't gotta say in it, so shut up. So after I was done littering, we had to go to the carpet. And there was this one person that came up to the teacher and was like, Teacher, somebody threw trash on the floor from a crayon and didn't pick him up. I think you mean didn't pick it up, not didn't pick M up. I don't care, there's just trash on the floor, Mrs. Teacher. All right then, who did it? All right, let's just pause for a little. We gotta examine the stupidness of this scene. First of all, she doesn't have a nose, humans have a nose. Second of all, and third of all, we might be five-year-olds, but we're not stupid enough to confess to a crime. Come on, Mrs. Teacher, I plead the fifth! Anyway, I was like, oh crap, what am I gonna do? I'm getting trouble! What do I do? What do I do? So I did the smart thing. I didn't raise my hand to take the blame. I don't have to tell you anything without the presence of my lawyer! If you don't believe it, then maybe you should be the one in Alcatraz! Um, Alex? What do you mean? Oh, you don't like Alcatraz? Then serve the command! Take him away, officers! Take him away! No, please! No! 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 Anyway, there was this other time in kindergarten where we were watching a movie, and it was 101 Dalmatians. And I think we were at a part where it was getting tense or something. And if I remember correctly, the same person that attempted to snitch on me told the teacher that the movie was too scary. So the teacher had to change it. And now that I'm older, taller, and a professional idiot, all I can think about is how and why. How and why did you get scared by a scene in a G-rated movie? Even I, a person that can get scared pretty easily, wasn't scared of that. Either you're a guard from Azkaban trying to send me in for the crimes against crayons from the crayon incident that's also trying to blend in as a child. Or you're an alien, and I don't trust any of those. There was also this other time in kindergarten where we were doing some sort of racing thing in PE. And in the middle, some random dude fell, and then he just randomly started bleeding out of his mouth. Now that I think about it, this guy, he bleeded pretty easily. He might have had a condition or something, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a conditionologist. First of all, that's not an actual career, Alex. And second of all, I don't feel like you're giving enough closure to these stories. The first one just ended and you screaming to a teacher and I'm going to ask man. And the second one, I don't even know how it ended because I don't even remember anymore. Oh, it ended with me not trusting aliens. Yeah, and that brings me to my next point. It feels like you're just saying random snippets of stories and then just leaving out the end. You want closure? You want closure to these random stories I just told you? Yes. Yes, I do. Then gather around. It's time to travel back one minute in the past. So the first story ended up with me never getting in trouble. Because I'm that good at lying. I, I really don't think that's a good thing. What's that? You want a closure for the second story? Well, well, well that's it. There is no there is no more. I just wanted to tell you about somebody getting scared of a G-rated movie. What, what do you expect? You want a guy with a clown to jump through the window and start murdering everybody? Is this what you want? Is this what you want, you freaks? Well, yes, actually. You weirdo. 
Anyway, screw both of you. We're moving on to the next story. Earlier this year in virtual school, there was this one time PE where this guy typed in the chat how to make beans. I don't know about you, but I don't think learning how to make beans has anything to do with learning about anorexia. And my teacher agrees with me, because after that, he was really confused. But it just turned out that this guy confused the chat with the Google search bar. I mean, imagine being the teacher at that moment. You just put a video about eating disorders about 20 minutes ago, and randomly somebody says how to make beans. That's gotta be some sort of achievement in the teaching world. Beans aside, there was this one time in English when somebody asked the teacher if he could use the bathroom. My English teacher did what any teacher would do in this situation. I don't know. Can you? And this kid got up and said, Yes, I can. Then he just left the classroom. So, if you ever get caught up in a situation like this, just do what that kid did. And that reminds me, every class was supposed to have a hall or bathroom pass or whatever it was called. Said somebody had lost it, my teacher just had to give us a clipboard instead. So I'm glad that I didn't have to use the bathroom in this class. Because if I got stopped in the hall and I was questioned on why I had a clipboard, I don't know how I would have answered. Anyway, once in first grade, we were in lunch. Anyway, in first grade, when we were in lunch, there's this one time when this one kid told another kid to smash a packet of ranch as hard as he could with his fist. So obviously, things didn't go well, and the packet of ranch exploded. The ranch ended up going towards a teacher and some other girl just walking by. So that kid that smashed the packet got in trouble. But the guy who told him to do it didn't. And that tells you something about school and how adults are in general. Adults never listen to when kids are trying to explain anything. So if you're an adult, shut up and let the children speak. Everyone, we have an announcement to make. Anyway, for the last story of the day, I was in third grade. And it was about to be summer. So, naturally, it was pretty hot outside. So me and my friend wanted to go to the shade. And the way that the school was is that there was the recess area here and the building here. And as you can see, there are these three walls right here. And we wanted to go to this back area since it had the most shade. The thing is that teachers couldn't see us if we were back there. So we could do whatever we wanted and nobody would know. But we didn't know this. So we somehow sneaked past the teachers and made it to the back. And we did what any kids would do. Be in the shade while picking dandelions to blow them. After a while of doing this, the assistant principal came out and saw us. And she just stared us down and was like, What in the age-appropriate four-letter word are you doing back here? We were just like, Oh, oh, uh, we, we just want a shade. And this full-grown adult paid to deal with kids just made us go back to the place where the teachers could see us. And she snatched. She snatched us! And she snitched on us. And that's how I got in trouble for escaping the sun. Anyway, these were a couple of my school stories. I'll probably make a part two somewhere down the line. But for now, I just need to flash the sun at the assistant principal. <laughs> how does it feel? How does it feel to be in the sun? <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe for more. So, yeah, it's nice to do another story time video after, well, after so long, the last one I've done was January, I believe. Yeah, it was January. And now, well, it's July. This year has gone by really quickly, yet slowly. At the same time. Yeah. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, subscribe if you did. And, um, yeah. Uh, remember to keep getting back up and, um, that God, and remember that God loves you and, uh, uh yeah. Good day.